Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number four. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Charts that link, and you can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Chart Series. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to use Advanced Filter to uh, create a dynamic chart. And the first thing is we need our data set set up, field names at the top, transactional records in rows. We have field names spelled exactly like they are here, and then our criteria. So we have to list the date field name twice if we want to get between, for example. And then we have a product quad. So we want to find all, make a chart for with the quad product between these dates right here. Now, how do you do advanced filter? I'm actually going to have to, I've already done this one. I'm going to control F3 and delete. When you do advanced filter, there's a hidden name. I'm going to delete that so uh, we can do it from scratch here. All right, another important point about advanced filter, uh, when, I, when 2007 came out, I used to know the keyboard shortcut in 2003. It was Alt DFA. I did it all the time. I could do it quick and fast. But when 2007 came out, there's a new Alt because and it's Alt A Q. And so what I did is I went through all the keyboard shortcuts I knew from earlier versions, the Alt ones, and compared them to the new versions. And when the new version was quicker, I would use it. Now this keyboard shortcut is quicker not only because it's fewer letters, but because the A and the Q are right next to each other on the number pad. Let's go ahead and when you Alt, you could see that there's an A. So if you hit A and then Advanced Filter is a Q right there one cell selected in your data set, Alt-AQ. And that's important if you're going to use this option, because this option is probably not as good as a pivot table or a formulas or something like that. But nevertheless, it is available. And if you know the keyboard shortcuts, it's really fast. All right, we're going to filter the list in place because we want our ultimately our chart to be filtered. Um, list range, it got that, and criteria range just like that. I'm going to click OK. Later when we do this in high speed, it's going to be Alt-A-Q. And notice that the by default, when this comes up, it's kind of highlighted like that. If you hit Enter, it will do it. So Alt-A-Q, Enter. All right, now, watch this. If I highlight just this and use the keyboard shortcut for the default chart, Alt-F1, I want to show you something two things. One is the range is not correct when we highlighted it like that for our trick here. But watch this. When I click in the chart, your arrow keys are a toggle between the different elements. You see how it, well, I'm using my up arrow and it's toggling? But watch this. When you get to the actual column with the data, there's a formula up here. And I want you to notice when we highlighted with our um, a cursor here, it got 17 to 2049, which is not what we want. I'm going to delete this chart. I'm going to try this again. Click in one cell, Control Asterisk or Control A will highlight the current region and it will actually get all of its, even if the uh, last row is not included in our um, query here, that keyboard shortcut will highlight it and force it into the chart. Alt F1. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to get to my series function. And now uh, 17 to 2195. That looks like the, oh, yeah, before it was uh, 2049. So here we could clearly see that it got all of the elements. Now I'm going to get rid of this right here. Delete, click on there, delete. I don't need this right here. I'm going to delete Control-1. I'm going to say fill, vary by point. One last thing is I want to right click add data labels, right? So we don't need uh, that over there if we're going to do it like this. Now, when you have, we have lots of category names here. Notice the purple and then the blue. The blue says those are the numbers. The green, that's what uh, the chart wizard is looking at to get a name. Uh, but that purple right there is picking up three different names. So it puts them down here. I'm going to click on this axis and control one. And under Axis Options, I want to say Multi-Level. And all this is going to do is see how there's lots of space there. I don't want that lots of space. So now it makes it a little bit smaller. Close. All right, so there's our little uh, chart. And now we can have a dynamic chart. I'm going to change this to Carlota. 
I always have my screen small so we can't see it change like uh, super fast. Click in one cell, Alt. Oh, because we've changed the criteria when we run it again, it's all set up. So Alt A, Alt A Q, Enter. And sure enough, now we have uh, our chart. And it's got the Carlota. And then you could put whatever criteria you want up there. By the way, if you um, want to get back, if you delete all this and run advanced query, this chart looks ridiculous because it's got thousands of rows. But nevertheless, uh, that is one, one way to do uh, a dynamic chart. We have lots of other tricks coming up. See you next trick.